Hey, so if you're watching this video, hold on, let me make the introduction. Okay. You know, I've had a lot of people ask me this question. Echo, do we have nice places in Africa? Right. <laughs> and I'm like, maybe you should pick the next available flight to Ghana and come and check where my sister lives. Hey, so if you're watching this and this is your first time of watching my videos, make sure you subscribe to my YouTube channel. Now we're gonna talk about accommodation here in Ghana and here in Cape Coast in the central region of Ghana. Uh, like I was telling Elita, I've had a lot of questions about accommodation in Ghana. Mm -hmm. So today I happen to be with you hang around with you for a whole day yeah and now we are in your crib yeah you you people say crib in america what is that <laughs> <laughs> so crib is like your house your place like, okay you know where you live where okay. you reside and then that one that the little baby is sleeping is also a crib. <laughs> <laughs> um i'm happy that we're here today so that you can show us how is it like um your first time you landed let's work mm -hmm. the first time you landed in ghana um some people would touch the ground and cry yeah others will do will jump and be like yo i'm out of the <laughs> i mean mother yeah mother. How, was, how was yours like um i have i've been here 14 years ago so when i was here okay. 15 years ago now okay. so when i was here the first time i had that feeling like yo yeah. i'm really in <laughs> africa you know so yeah. i was really excited and ecstatic and you know it's just i couldn't it wasn't real like yeah. every moment was just surreal yeah. like this is really happening yeah um so 15 years later this particular time uh, i've been here six months now okay and so it's um it's still surreal but it's mainly like an appreciation like okay. you know i'm home like yeah. i'm here to in my safe zone yeah and so that's kind of like the feeling i got the second time around because it's something i'll it's long i'll be here for forever i'm never yeah. leaving. <laughs> <laughs> okay so since you're in your safe zone i know when you use the word safe that we are not talking about um tigers running upon you lions <laughs> no, and yeah. elephants so There's no lions in all of so Ghana, so we don't so. sleep on trees no you don't sleep there's on a tree trees. there maybe i can put you in it <laughs> okay then if we don't why don't you okay take us around Tell us something about accommodation. Okay. It could be just as comfortable as it is mm -hmm. in America or okay. wherever it is you're coming from. Okay. It just depends on, you know, you yourself, what you want and what you like. Okay. And so, no, I'm not sleeping on straws and mm -hmm. I'm not next door to zebras. <laughs> All of that is just, you know, what America BS. show you to, you know, change your mentality yeah. of how to perceive Ghana okay. or Africa as a whole. So, no, I have everything you have in america i have it i have a washing machine i have hot water okay i have air conditioner like I, what it's not what you think so you know what <laughs> people would like to see what you're talking about yeah so why don't you take us on a tour to your place okay come on let me show you something welcome to cape coast So let me cut the light on for you. Okay. Sure. It's a nice place you have. Thank you. Yeah. But this is a living room area, so it's very comfortable, very clean to my liking. Um, this is where you guys probably saw some of my YouTube channels. That's what it, where I do my classes at. Um, my green light for my other business, which we'll talk about a little bit later, which is Ghana um, Consultations. Um, but yeah, I don't watch TV, but you got a flat screen. Y'all think that's not doable here. Um, so going this way, this right here is some of my supplies for my all natural product line called Motherland Essentials. And so you have bee wax, you have like beeswax here, you got some natural soy. Um, this is baking soda, moringa powder, neem powder, got some ginger powder, got some everything, some black soap, some shea butter over here. This is some of my other products. We're going into the kitchen now. So some of my oils, olive oil, coconut oil, a lot of essential oil. Um, so this is a steamer for my Yanni steam. Those of you who know how important it is to do that. This is where I actually blend my products. These are some of the powders I take every day with my smoothie. So I have a blender that I bought here. Um, so yeah, this is the kitchen. I got a Get in here and make me something to eat in a second because I haven't eaten I haven't eaten my lunch yet. But 
Yeah, I got two sides and I don't know, the refrigerator. It's, you know. It's nothing different, guys. Eggs, it's like I'm, you know, this is the back door that leads to the, um, the driveway where you can park your car. And this is also where I hang my clothes to dry. So you have the gate here, gated community to the left. So you have your privacy. Um, here is my small garden. I'm really proud of this. Okay. <laughs> so I have avocado trees here. I have a mango. I have a um, cocoa. Uh, what is it? Yeah, coca. And I have butternut. This is called a marigold plant so that I can keep like the snakes and the incense away from the garden. This is a soursop plant. And then these are just trees. This is a mint tea. And then I also have spinach, which I love how spinach grows because it grows like a snake. So it's something that I'll weed throughout my, my gate at my new house. Um, and then we have the pineapples. Oh, we got a compost here. So this is just, you know, something we started just to kind of be more sustainable. And then this is where I hang my clothes at. Uh, my washing is done for the week, so you don't see any clothes out there. But going back inside. I want to take you to the hallway and then we'll go to um, my bedroom and the, the bedrooms that are here, basically. So this is the hallway area. Give you some light. This is my bathroom here. So I have a shower. I got the washing machine there. Um, I got hot water. You just got to hit this switch right here. This is what's different here than in America. So here you got to cut this on in, in order to have hot water. Um, so cut that off. And then I'll take you... So my room is junky right now. I do a lot of studying. I need to fold my laundry. And yeah, this is my area for now before I move. But I have this nice handy shelf because it's not, they don't have closets here. Like in America, we have closets. Here we have to like buy, get wardrobe. So this is what they will call a closet here. And this, they don't call it a closet. They call it a wardrobe. You got to have your portable fan, honey, because you don't want your air conditioner. Oh, it's air conditioner here. So I know y'all care about that because you know it's hot here. But it runs up the electricity bill. So I try to use it as um, least as possible. But then we have the other bedroom. Again, this is their closet, which is called a wardrobe. And we got some shelves here if you want to make it your, um, your bookshelf made out of bamboo. This bed is also a bamboo bed. And here's the other bathroom here. So, got the shower, the water heater. And yeah, so very familiar, guys. Nothing to worry about. And so, yeah, that's where I live. I'm going to take you guys on a journey um, as far as what I do on a daily basis. Hey, so I hope you followed her through the whole tour thing in her house. So if she can get this kind of accommodation or apartment, the same way you can do it. But mind you, it depends on your taste. This is her taste. Yours might be just one room apartment with toilet and bath outside the bedroom it depends on whatever you want okay so i have enjoyed myself looking around your place um have you had other people asking you about you know getting them a place to live here in ghana oh yeah i've had a, a lot of people ask if they come to just visit is it somewhere they can um i can show them to stay also if they're move if they move here while they're building oh, okay. there's somewhere they can stay until that's done so yes i have been asked that question and i do have recommendations and resources to help out in that department okay coming to what you just said you said people want to build yeah have you thought of that or... yeah i have land here 
I oh, have my own plots oh. of land. Give me blow. Yeah, man. <laughs> yeah, I will be building the oh, four-bedroom house. Yeah. Four-bedroom house. Yeah, that's and One goal. belongs to me. <laughs> yeah, so anyway, that's a joke. So she... <laughs> I like I like talking to her because she's always laughing. Yeah. The little thing that she's <laughs> laughing. That is, I think you are you are an open-minded person. Thank you. Who would you don't have to complain mm. about anything about Ghana? Right. Because definitely you wouldn't have it like the way you have it over there. Exactly. So when you come here, you just because those of us who are here, we've been in it and we are still living. Right. Exactly. So why do people come and want to complain on it? everything mm -hmm. so she has the land already she might be building pretty soon mm -hmm. and then when you come maybe um a business idea she's going to give two of the rooms as airbnb you pay money <laughs> come and sleep get away pay money we're come definitely and working on that yeah, yeah something like that yeah. so hey thank you very much for checking us out what's your last message to people watching you right now about any, anything anything about your life um, and you in ghana i would just say stay focused and be patient um, I will also challenge you to pace yourself. Don't try to get everything at once. Make a goal sheet for yourself. Mm -hmm. You know, sit down and write out your plan for the next three years, five years, ten years. And, you know, try to consider long term. Don't think about everything you can have and do now. And, you know, ob obviously I want to say make sure you fast, pray, and repent. <laughs> and make sure you give praises to the most higher, higher. Yeah. Um, there's one thing I need to ask um about the 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 rent okay. is it affordable do you think it is affordable um it's affordable especially in as it pertains to how much america spent on rent okay. but it's this is a little more expensive than what i'm even learning ghana has to offer like there's even cheaper so oh, okay this is 2500 cds to stay here a month so it's about 400 dollars a month a little over that like 420 mm -hmm um to and, stay. and and you think a place like this in the state will be more than oh yeah way like more this. than yes it will be like <laughs> let me see 400 it'll be at least 1200 wow. dollars yeah for a month yeah for one month uh-huh <laughs> and so yes it's, wow it's more affordable here yeah. um but even the place that i'm getting ready to move to okay um that one is only like 50 dollars a month so it's 350 oh, cds okay. a month, month. Okay. and that's a one bedroom you know kitchen oh, okay. living room um bathroom. bathroom so you know it just depends on like you said what you want more, like yeah. if you need big, more space if you need more seclusion mm -hmm. um anything like that so but they have it here that's the point that we're making it's yeah. doable okay yeah. it's not all trees and straws and <laughs> mud and bricks yeah and so, ants and, and spiders right, and yeah. lions and tigers <laughs> and bears <laughs> like, why would not uh, I have lion in, in my house to protect <laughs> you know those crazy people for coming hey so thank you very much for checking us out she has a youtube channel what's the name of your youtube channel it's alita yasharela so make sure you subscribe like some videos comment and cut your post notifications on all right bye bye <laughs>